Greetings. Welcome back to IBI, India Business Insights. Today, we will be discussing another leading QSR chain, Westlife Development Limited, an Indian fast food restaurant. It is the holding company that has a wholly owned subsidiary Heart Castle Restaurants Private Limited, which holds the master franchisee for McDonald's in Western India and South India. The beginning of McDonald's restaurant was not easy. It was full of challenges and opportunities. For the company to start its operations in India, first came the task of building a supply chain. Next, the introduction of burgers as a food item to uninitiated Indians. Bringing in a brand that was globally known for its beef burgers to a culturally sensitive market like India was tricky. No beef or pork, plus the creation of separate veg and non-veg kitchens. But the company wanted to bring consumers a taste that was familiar but in a uniquely McDonald's way. The idea was to offer them something that they couldn't make at home. With this ideology, the company started its operations in India. After the initial enthusiasm of blockbuster openings in New Delhi and Mumbai dies down in 1996, McDonald's realized that it would take a lot of convincing to get customers. Western fast food chains were seen as a novelty back then. That's why McDonald's promoted low-priced options, such as the Happy Price menu, burgers priced at Rs 25 and Indianize the burgers with ingredients familiar to locals such as potato patties instead of meat. The strategy paid off spurring the transformation of India's food industry. This pricing innovation shattered the brand's expensive image, widening the customer base for McDonald's, which worldwide positions itself as a family restaurant. Now, it began attracting college students, working professionals and family crowd. It also launched happy meals and special birthday celebrations to attract small children. The phrase also came with several downs. The most notable was competitor brands offering similar pricing strategies, deals and buy one get one offers thereby making McDonald's lose its early pricing advantage. For many years, McDonald's did a brisk business in India by relying on low prices, offering burgers at around Rs 20. By 2012-13, Though this value-based strategy had become very less effective as rivals such as Domino's and KFC too added low-priced options to their menus. Moreover, rising input cost pushed up the prices from Rs 20 to slightly over Rs 30 now. As a result, in 2013, Westlife decided to change tack, investing in revamped restaurants, new upholstery and lighting, besides an expanded menu with prices and flavors designed to appeal to young consumers. In 2015, it also relaunched the fast food chain's most expensive burger in India, the Maharaja Mac, priced between Rs 176 and Rs 194. Over the past few years, the company has been spending more marketing money on pricier burgers and new flavors. The other part of the strategy was to convince Indians to visit McDonald's outlets even outside of the usual lunch and dinner timings. So the company began testing out to McCafe format, starting out with Mumbai in 2013. Over the next few years, the McCafe concept gradually spread to over 100 McDonald's outlets across South and West India, selling coffee, muffins and cookies. Heart Castle Restaurants operates more than 300 McDonald's restaurants across 42 cities through various formats including standalone restaurants, drive through small food courts, McDelivery and dessert kiosks. It also has three thriving brand extensions, McDelivery, McCafe and McBreakfast. Over the years, McDonald's extended its service from dine-in to drive through on-the-go and Mac delivery that is online ordering through the app and website, widening its omni-channel convenience and accessibility. History Westlife Development was founded on 30th of October 1982. Heart Castle Restaurant was established as a joint venture between Westlife Development and the McDonald's Corporation in 1995. Heart Castle opened its first McDonald's restaurant in Bandra, Mumbai in 1996, three days after McDonald's other Indian franchisee had opened the first McDonald's outlet in the country in Basantalok, Vasant Vihar in New Delhi. The joint venture was converted into a master franchisee in 2010. 
Amit Jatia, the vice chairman of Hearth Castle Restaurants, acquired the McDonald's Corporation 50% stake in Hearth Castle for an undisclosed amount in late 2012. Hearth Castle was merged into the listed group company Westlife Development, making the former a wholly owned subsidiary of the latter. Westlife Development was listed on the Bombay Stock Exchange on 27th August 2013. McDonald's breakfast menu was launched in 2010 and made available all day long at selected outlets in 2016. The first Mac Cafe was opened in Mumbai in 2013. In 2017, Hart Castle initiated a pilot project to use biodiesel made from used cooking oil to power its refrigerated supply delivery trucks in some of its restaurants in Mumbai. The program was successfully rolled out to half of the company outlets by July 2018. Hart Castle began rolling out self-ordering kiosks at McDonald's outlets in 2017. The first kiosk was installed at an outlet in CR2 Mall at Nariman Point, Mumbai in March 2017. McDonald's India Private Limited acquired complete ownership of Connaught Plaza's Restaurants Limited. It's another Indian master franchisee on 9th May 2019. ending a partnership established in 1995 and leaving Westlife Development as McDonald's only third party master franchisee in India Vikram Bakshi versus McDonald's case There were three persons involved in this case particularly Vikram Bakshi McDonald's India Private Limited Connaught Plaza's Restaurant Limited In 1995 McDonald's India Private Limited and Connaught Plaza's Restaurant Limited had a joint venture in such a way that 50% of equity share was with McDonald's India's Private Limited and 50% equity shares with Connaught Plaza Restaurants Limited Vikram Bakshi was the managing director of this joint venture he was also the MD of Connaught Plaza Restaurants Limited McDonald's had certain disputes with the franchisees and decided to cancel the franchise and dissolve the joint venture. After a long protracted legal battle, the two parties arrived at settlement and ended their agreement in North and East India. While McDonald's faced trouble in the North, Westlife enjoyed a steady growth in West and South till 2020. Thereafter it suffered a sharp dip in 2021 due to COVID and recovered to its pre-pandemic peak by 2022. The company has been consistently profitable since quarter 3 of financial year 2022. The following are the results of Westlife. These are consolidated results and include the operating results of Hart Castle Restaurants Private Limited, which is its main operating company. The company's strong performance was underpinned by its omni-channel strategy, menu innovations and cost optimization practices and was a testament to its scale and agility. The company's main focus has always been on menu innovation. The company sustained being a leader in meals and introduced complement of Mac spicy fried chicken, McDonald's gourmet burgers and continued burger leadership. It captured multiple customer use case occasions. Omni-channel strategy. Omni-channel experience comprising delivery, dine-in, on-the-go, drive-throughs and digital sales exceeded 57% of the total system sales and it continued momentum on both apps achieved 17 million downloads till march 2022 the, the dine in and convenience channel delivered significant growth without cannibalization and thus the company created an anytime anywhere brand network expansion the company established market leadership through network expansion in tier 1 and tier 2 cities It increased drive-through portfolios by continuing store modernization. The company had presence in 326 restaurants across 47 cities, 64 drive-throughs, that is 20% restaurants in the drive-through format, 80% restaurants with Mac cafes, 262 Mac cafes, 36% restaurants experience of the future that is EOTF stores, 118 EOTF stores as of March 2022, running great restaurants and brand building. The company addresses wider customer occasions. It has complement of burger meals, snacks and chicken deep in market leadership, widened meal offerings, gourmet burger meals comprising a new range of indulgent and filling burgers, value for money burger meals and chicken led meals through Mac spicy fried chicken and continued snacking leadership, wide 
safer and tastier options. Chicken Leadership The company appointed a new brand ambassador this year named Rashmika Mandana who does TV promotions for the brand. You just can't get enough and has city-wise campaigns as well. There has been a significant improvement in chicken sales in South India and an incremental chicken sales by capturing new customer occasions. Future plans. The company is looking to invest rupees 800 to 1000 crore in the next 3 to 5 years to drive future growth for the brand. The investments will be used to open about 200 additional restaurants and will also be used to revamp the existing restaurants in line with the experience of the future concept which brings in new elements to the restaurant experience to meet evolving consumer needs. The the American fast food brand which is one of the first brands to introduce Indians to the western quick service restaurant experience has completed 25 years of operations in the country in 2021. Hope you found this video insightful. This was the last company we covered in the QSR industry and if you liked it let us know in the comment section below and do not forget to like and share it with your friends. For more such videos subscribe to India Business Insights.